Every day we are in a battle. A battle against tiny organisms that would like to live in or on us and may cause disease. The good news is we have an amazing immune system that can destroy most of these foreign invaders. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the four types of pathogens, which we like to call germs. Most diseases are caused by four very small groups of organisms. Let's call them the four main germs. They include protozoa, fungi, bacteria, and viruses. Protozoa are single-cell organisms that live in moist areas, including water. They are some of the reasons why clean water is so important. They cause a host of diseases, including malaria, giardia, sleeping sickness, nausea, just to name a few, and impact up to a billion people annually. The good news is that there is a host of drugs to treat these illnesses, including doxycycline. Fungi can also cause disease. Fungi are also found in moist areas. A common example is mold. Mold is a fungus that grows in the form of multicellular filaments called hyphae. Most fungi are not dangerous, but some types can be harmful to your health, and a couple are even deadly. One example may, you may be familiar with is athlete's foot. Other diseases include mild fungal skin diseases that look like a rash, asthma, allergies, and even lung infections. There are antifungal drugs that t treat fungal infections by killing or stopping the growth of the fungus. Viruses are very small and are basically a protein covering and genetic material. They need a host in order to reproduce and can cause all types of diseases. I would imagine everyone watching this video has had a cold caused by a virus. Other common diseases include smallpox, the flu, measles, chicken pox, just to name a few. Viruses can be treated with a vaccine which trains your body to recognize the virus and then destroy it. But for a viral illness, unfortunately, there is little medicine like an antibiotic or an antiviral medicine that will immediately kill the virus. You just treat the symptoms and your body kills the virus. Bacteria are single cell microorganisms that thrive in many different environments. Some varieties live in extreme cold or hot and others make their home on your skin or in people's intestines or in your blood. Sometimes they help you even digest food. Most bacteria cause no harm to people, but there are exceptions. Some infections caused by bacteria include strep throat, tuberculosis, most ear infections. The good news is most bacterial infections can be treated with antibiotics. And there's a long list of antibiotics that can fight and destroy these bacteria. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.